Hi everyone, this is Harsh Changra. Today we are going to focus on Microsoft on-premise lab setup. I divide this particular video into two different parts. In the first part, I'm going to start with Microsoft on-premise and hosted or cloud servers information. I will discuss in this part which one is the best option for your enterprise and how you can choose and what is the major differences between Microsoft on-premise servers or hosted or the cloud servers. In the second part, I'm going to discuss with you the Microsoft on-premise lab setup requirement. In this part, it is included multiple things. Let me clear one thing that in this particular video series, we are going to focus on Exchange Server, SharePoint Server, and Link Server. So for these three products, what are the applications, softwares you required, we are going to discuss in this particular part. In the second part or the last part, I'm going to share with you that what is virtual machine and for the best practices, how you can deploy these servers on these virtual machines products. So guys, let's get started. Microsoft on-premise and hosted or cloud servers. Before to get deep dive into the on-premise servers and the hosted or cloud servers differences, let me discuss about two major products that we are going to cover in our video series. The first product is Exchange Server. Exchange Server is the email communication server, or in other sense, you can say it is an on-premise in-house servers application that provides messaging capabilities. Actually, Exchange Server not only provide the email communications capabilities, it also have calendaring or centralized calendaring system it also have tasks management system. And there are other tons of features are available in Exchange Server that we are going to discuss in our upcoming videos. The second big product from Microsoft is SharePoint that we are going to cover in this video series as well. The SharePoint actually allows organization to create websites where they can share their information or data files with others. It also includes the local, local means the people those are working inside the organization as well as the external users. The organization can put the files or in a secure place where the people with those are working inside or the outside of the organization can access security. SharePoint also have tons of features as well based on the different product or you can say the capabilities of the product and we will discuss in detail in our upcoming videos. So let's jump into the difference between on-premise servers and the hosted or the cloud servers. As we all know in the previous means years, we generally depends on on-premise servers. The on-premise servers have all the capabilities because you can customize it. You can take total control on the on-premise servers. And of course, every single task or related management thing, if you want to change something, you can do it really very fast. So that is the main advantages of the on-premise servers. But including with that, you need to take care of your hardware. If anything goes failed in your organization or on-premise server, you need to take care of that as well. And of course, if you want to handle the server, you need to assign few IT professionals for that as well. So that is the main thing about on-premise servers. But the hosted and cloud servers also provide sort of capabilities. They give you guaranteed availability. That means 24 by 7, the server will be running or almost 99.9% .9 
is a guaranteed by this hosted organization. There is no single point of failure that means if any server goes down, they have a backup. They provide you another server as a backup so everything is running all the time. No hardware cost. From now on, the organization don't need to pay the cost for the hardware. So that is why the technology called SaaS, the cloud servers working on SaaS software as a service. We have another one called IaaS, infrastructure as a service. And of course, the last one is PaaS, platform as a service. So once you combine these all the cloud means options, it will coming up with a very brilliant solution and that is called hosted servers because it is really easier to set up and of course you can increase any time based on all your requirement. You can access it from anywhere and that is why they provide anywhere on any device connectivity because they optimize their application servers or you can say this exchange or SharePoint servers and can be accessed on any device like tablets, iPad, PCs, MacBook, etc. If anything need to be changed, you don't need to worry. The hosted organization can do it for you. And of course, they also have the option for disaster recovery. If anything goes really bad and the whole data center goes down, they have a kind of backup of the whole data center into different location. So your users or even your customers don't even know what happened. So that is really a big advantage. And also the hosted or the cloud servers provide you the anti-malware support. That means it will check every single document, emails, which is coming in your business communication system. And in other sense, you can say you are completely or 100% secure from spam or viruses. Microsoft on-premise lab setup requirements. If you want to deploy the Exchange Server, Link Server and SharePoint Server, you need the following operating system or the server applications. Kindly download Windows Server 2012 from the specific download location. Then Exchange Server 2013 from download location. The SharePoint 2013 from the download link location. And in the end, download Link Server 2013 from this particular location. All these products are available with Evolution version. That means it will allow you to deploy or practice your Exchange, SharePoint or Link environment for 180 days maximum. For our video series, this is enough. So kindly download and rest assured that I will deploy every single features in these products. There are few other components also you required to install Exchange, SharePoint, Link Server. I will discuss in upcoming video in the step-by-step -step configuration. Virtualizations application for best practices. So guys, as I mentioned before, we need to deploy Exchange Server, SharePoint Server and Link Server for our own knowledge purpose. Now, if you want to deploy these servers or trying to configure these servers, we need multiple machines or multiple operating system for that. If you want to do that, you need the virtual machine softwares or applications to deploy these servers and it allows you to perform every single step within on the same one physical machine. Now the first question is, what is a virtual machine? A virtual machine is a software implementation or emulation of a machine that executes programs like a real physical machine. It means you have a single hardware available or one machine or one PC available 
you can deploy multiple different operating system on the same one physical machine by using virtual machine softwares or the applications actually what it will do basically let me give you a small idea for better understanding of the virtual machines the virtual machines softwares allows your application to share your hardware resources for example memory or ram processor and of course the hard drive space so it will take the information or collect the resources within your one hardware or the PC and it will deploy multiple operating system for you. So there are many softwares available in the market or in the IT industry, but I choose some of the very important or you can say very popular applications for you so that you can run everything flawlessly. So let me give you the short idea what are these applications available and what is the name at least and their platform supported. So in this one I'm going to discuss about the VMs applications or the software which is available for PC and the Mac operating system. The first product is or the option is Hyper-V. The Hyper-V is available within the Microsoft platform only. You can deploy Hyper-V option on Windows 8.1 and of course you can do it on Windows servers as well. But for that you need X64 platform. X64 platform means physical hardware should be a 64-bit processor. And of course the operating system must be also a 64-bit if you do not have this you cannot configure hyper v the second best product as i ever known is oracle virtual box which is free of cost available and it allows you to create virtual machines on windows platform mac os x platform and linux and the best thing about the Oracle virtual box is it also allows to stimulate that virtual machine to work in a real environment that means you can connect that virtual machine in your real network accessibilities or the means it is accessible from any other machines available in the same network or the same physical network the third product or the paid product is VMware workstation which is generally available for Windows PCs only it is a paid product I'm going to discuss and give you the detailed overview about this the next product we have and it is a free of cost available called VMware player there are few restriction by using or with using this VMware player but it is really a good solution to test out your virtual machines and the platform available is only PC the next product is VMware fusion which is available only for Mac OS X platform tons of new features very intuitive interface and very nice lined or you can say the design is really nice to work with that and the last one, the competitor of VMware Fusion is Parallels. The Parallels is also a virtual machine software which is available for Mac OS X. So guys, in this second part, I'm going to give you the overview and detailed explanation of these all the products, how you can deploy, how you can use it in your own personal liking environment. So let's start with the video number two or the part number two of this particular series and then you will understand that how you can deploy your virtual machine on this multiple VMware applications or the softwares. Thank you so much for watching this part one. In the part two we have the practical demonstrations and a little bit overview about Office 365 Cloud Promise. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.